Hey, what's up, guys? Opening it up with the best hand ever, right? Double melee. It's my favorite. I'm gonna go for this because I want to have my deck thinned. See if the effect is good. Okay, so we add a defender to our hand. We have double veil, though, so at least I have some protection. So we'll get rid of this. Get rid of that one. Because I'd rather keep defender. That's cool. We can lure the other one. Look at all that draw power. Look at all that draw power. Triple Valor. Oh, it's cool. It doesn't matter. Well, I'd rather have... Because I can technically get this back. But reborning this sometimes can help out with other plays. So we will banish this. Look at all that draw power. All that draw power. So good. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Your move. <laughs> Look at that, we got double darks in the grave, double Matley. If only Matley was at three. <laughs> Why does this guy only have 14 in the extra deck? He's almost 1200. Um, I don't know what he's playing. He's playing about 40. He's playing a lot of cards. Oh, cool, no cherry cherries. Um, I wonder what that face down is. Let's find out. Maybe it's a Raiko. Hopefully he'll hurt my cherries. Oh, to pre -drag. Okay, I'll only take 200. I'll only... So he, it looks like he might be playing some variant of Plant Synchro-ish, too. And uh, that card is this card is pretty hefty. 2,000 defense. Um, if I knew it was that, I probably would have... Um, I guess I could have made a Cataster, because, like, I have three Veilers. Yeah, I, I can tell. Like, anytime someone sets a Debris Dragon, it's kind of like they have a bad hand. But Debris Dragon is still 2,000 defense. is pretty good. I have triple Veiler, though, so pretty good against this deck. Oh, BLS. Hi, BLS. <laughs> go for that play that I was talking about. Um, which would be just go for Cataster. And then I can go Cataster, BLS. And then BLS sometimes just wins games alone, just by himself. I have, like, so many answers to stop out, like, what he's going to go for. So I think I'm going to go for that play. Oh, actually, I want to find out what he's... Well, I actually have to summon something anyways this turn. Why did I summon Sang in attack mode? Just a bad idea. <laughs> so bad at this game. <laughs> Swar, okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I meant to set. This, I think I meant to set thing again. That's what I get for playing Yu-Gi-Oh. So that, but that's okay. He's playing. Oh, he's playing Dasher. I don't like Dasher. Um, only, one time only. When you draw a monster card during your draw phase, if this card's in your graveyard, you can reveal it. Special summon. Cool. You can point your heart and guide. I'm um, my Sangin. Please do. Because if you don't, I will. <laughs> Itali? Okay, that's cool. You can eat Tally. Alright, so let's see what he goes for. Um, he could have he could, he could went for a Black Rose, but he's, he's going like more in for this right now. Alright, so he's going for e Tally. He'll probably go sink for at least a 5. Librarian? It's not a bad option. Because, like, getting like right out against plants is a good, is a good thing. Oh, it's going for Catastrophe. Okay. Catastrophe's okay, too. At least I won't take any damage now. Which I'm okay with. Oh, Dark Arm. Hi, Dark Arm. Okay, cool. I, I don't mind losing my entire field. Um, because I feel like sometimes when you drop your boss monster after they drop theirs, it's just better. Um, he's going to pop my cherries, too. <laughs> wow, that sounded so wrong. He's going to pop my cherries. <laughs> It, well, he's going to activate Dark Arm's effect, destroy Nateria Cherries. I don't know how to make it sound any better than that. He's going he's gonna to destroy Nateria Cherries. <laughs> Sorry, it's late at night. Um, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, does he even have three Darks? I didn't even bother to check. I was like, oh, wait, wait, hold on, wait. Oh, okay. Wait, okay, he's, he's banishing Dasher. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So you get Cherry's effect. Where's the other one? There we go. Uh, there, there we go. So yeah, and this is this is the card that Pink Reaper uses, and I think it's kind of good in junk. And the the junk variant that I'm playing right now, so I'm kind of just testing it out. I'll probably take eighteen. Yeah. What? Yeah. Mm, no, 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 no,
can't get over Cataster, though. Oh, yes! I have the play now! This play is so good. Hopefully it won't get negated. <laughs> it's so good. Check this out, guys. I'm going for the play. Please don't fail her. Please don't fail her. Okay, so it says okay. Um, special and doppel. Let me sink. A librarian. Um, we get two tokens. The tokens have to be in attack mode, though. And then we send this to the graveyard to do her formula. And then make formula. So we get uh, two draws because formula, and then we gotta draw off a librarian. And so we draw two, one, and two. Ooh, and one for one. Oh, oh my. <laughs> if I played Quasar, we could make Quasar, but I don't play Quasar. Actually, actually, I can't because I, I drew all the Veilers. I don't even play Spore in here. There's no Spore. And even though I actually should now because I put in the cherries. Um, so we can one for one. We can't even use one for one actually until we go for a pot of Avarice. Hmm. So, like, I can go, like, super all-in right now, oh, if I wish. I kind of want to get rid of that token that's sitting there. But I can go for an 8 on his turn, so that's not bad. Uh, I'll probably end up going for a Stardust after I go for my big play. So, now we can go for this. So I will banish. Or should I banish? That doesn't really matter. So we can attack twice. Okay. I feel like I, I got this. So, battle phase. We will attack. Dark Armed. We'll finally get over that Debris Dragon that was sitting there. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> it's funny, I have all the Veilers in my hand. <laughs> Which makes it so I can't actually make it. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I, I could have made it. I probably could have... Well, I don't even have it in my extra deck, so there's more reason why I can't make it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, it's like well, checking his grave. Does he have Valor? He's gonna like mind crush me and be like a Valor. So he he went all in for that play. Like that was his push. And that's the thing with plants. Like if you go, if you're gonna commit to like your field, you better make sure you can either a defend it or b um, be able to OTK. Uh, what did I attack with? Okay, I need to attack with that. I should have put this in attack mode, got 200 more damage, but, you know, that's okay. Um, is it 400? I thought it was 500 for double tokens. Oh, wait, it's banished. Um, okay, they are 400, okay. So I'm gonna make a Stardust now, so that way he can't top deck a Dark Hole. It's actually in main phase two. And we go for Stardust. Wait, can I have Vialis armor armed? I don't know, he had Catastrophe. It doesn't really matter at this point. He needs to top deck Mind Control Dark Hole. And then he can kind of come back into the game. But I have Torgan plus Valor, so I, I really don't think it's going to happen, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's just fairly limited options here. Oh, he's got Pop Avarice. That'll kind of help him out just a little bit. And he will have to pop average everything. So that's one, two, and again, he he went he went for this play. And that's the thing with plant mirror match. You have to realize if you're going for game, you must make it game. Um, because if you don't, the other plant player usually can go off. Depending on like you know the back row situation too. You have to to keep that in mind. Like if you go for a play and you're like, okay, I got like double like like a double traps, like maybe like a soul morning and like a torrential. You can at least, you know, kind of save yourself from your opponent going off on their turn. And that's why I really like plant... I like plant mirror match. I feel like it's... Well, even though this isn't really technically plants, like the junk. Like any, like, heavy synchro, or, like, plant... I'm just going to call it plants because, you know, it's like synchro plants. It's like the same thing. Um, the reason why I like the mirror match so much is it, it really shows which player really knows how to play um, the deck usually. I mean, there are times where, you know, you just open up better than the other person. But at this point, um, again... Um, I've made, I established my field, and I made sure I can protect it, and that's what's important. Like, I have the stars to protect my field. He's already went through Dark Armed, so I don't have to worry about, uh, essentially, him using Dark Armed and attacking over my Stardust Dragon, and then using its effect to destroy BLS. I mean, I do, I know to have failures anyways, but that's just something that you need to uh, remember as well. Uh, make sure 
whatever your opponent has in the graveyard, you have to remember that, and that is very key in the, uh, the plant mirror match. So if you're looking to play plants this format, uh, just practice with that deck over and over. You will learn so much in Yu-Gi-Oh by playing that deck. So I don't think he can really do anything. He needs oh, like I said, he needs mind control plus dark hole. But he might, maybe he doesn't have dark hole. But he can use summon summon. He can summon that, and he can make his end mains, But um, I do get my second effect though, because it wasn't used as X Y Z material. Oh, he's going for iron train. Okay, so I guess hands effect. We can. What do we, I mean, there's equal opportunity to draw both. It, well, until I do Pot of Hours, I can't do the play again. But, what should we add? I'm gonna add this. Because, like, if he mills my Doppel, it's cool. <laughs> like, I don't care. Um, let's see what he does. He's just going point for point Stardust. That's fine. Um, and then, is it, let's see if he Dark Holes now. Because that's the only reason why I could see him doing that play. I mean, this card's not that bad to draw, but again, the reason why I don't like the Itali, I like the D here. Well, he's playing actually both. Never mind. He's playing... Wow, he's, he's playing, like, everything. Um, oh, I got another D draw, though. That's good. Um, my librarian's already gone. I already... I'm trying to think, like, I'm trying to think if, if I just set one for one or something like that, because what good does it do? I think, actually, I can go for another... I don't have a tour guide removed, right? Okay. <laughs> So, let's see if it's well, I'm going for tour guide because that's my only other target anyways. If he negates it, I'll just put it back. It's not like that way he knows what I have. Um, I'm going to type with two tour guides first to, you know, make a gorse token lover if he has gores. And then a main phase two, we will make Zen Mains. Even though, yeah, I, I know I can make Levier if I wanted to. Um, and we go for Zen Mains, and then pretty much it's going to be super hard for him really to do anything. Um... I put him in a really bad spot. He had his opportunity to make his play. I felt like, again, his play, it might have been like what he had. I don't know, really know what he had in his hand. He still, I think, three cards in his hand, and like no back row, so it's probably like, maybe monsters. But, um, yeah, um, again, um, see how I have established my field, and then I've set it up so I have protection as well. That is key. Okay, he drew Spore. Spore was even, oh, he's playing. Oh, Heretic. Wow, he's trying to fit everything. Heretic. Heretic, Itali, Destiny Hero, Planet. That's awesome. I like I like decks that like mix in everything. But yeah, I probably could have made Quasar somehow. But I, again, I don't have it, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And one for one, completely useless at that point. Um, actually, I want to see what I have. Yeah, I'm just going to use this. But, like, you could see in the beginning how much I was able to cycle through my deck where there's D draws. So, Junk, Destiny Junk is where it's at. I think uh, I'm going to play a little bit more of this. It's a fun deck to play, and that's what I really want to go for right now. But thanks for watching, guys. It's Nice White Dragon, signing out.